It is an absolutely stunningly beautiful day here today. It is so sunny. It's not humid at all. I think I'm quite up high in the mountains. I'm currently on my journey from Chiang Mai to Pai, which is a three to four hour minibus ride. It's notorious for being very bumpy and uphill, but so far it hasn't been too bad. Everyone else on the bus took travel sickness pills, but usually I'm okay. I'm having one of those days where I'm just like, I never want to go home, you know? I just want to travel forever. It's so beautiful. But I've only got three or four days left on my Thailand visa and I really don't want to go. But I'm probably going to come back at the end of my trip if I can somehow afford it. Maybe I'll pick up some work somewhere, I don't know. Just got myself another coconut shake. Very refreshing and it feels super healthy. I'm pretty sure they are because coconut oil is used for everything. And they're everywhere in Thailand so... I'm really trying to get into it more. I just got to my next destination which is Pai in the very northern of Thailand. So far, my first impressions, this place is awesome. It seems very, very chilled out, very relaxed, very green, as you can see. And the weather is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just walking to find my hostel now. I don't think it's too much further. Um, I'm staying at a place called Green Hostel, which has its own skate park. I can't skate, but I've always wanted to. And what better place to find myself a nice skater boy than a hostel with its own skate park. So fingers crossed that will happen. So I just checked in and I've already got a really cool vibe from this place. It's super old fashioned, super chilled, really, I don't know, just like peaceful, getting a really good vibe so far. And I will show you my room. Welcome to MTV Cribs. So, I mean, it's fairly basic. It is pretty retro style. We have, air conditioning which i didn't know i was gonna have so that's pretty good and i'm only paying something stupid like 180 baht to stay here um each night so that's pretty cool one of the first things that i like to do when i get to a new place is check out grinder and see if there's any nice local people um because i think a really great way to experience a country is to meet the locals and see how they live their lives and of course i want to meet gay people before you say i'm not looking to hook up but the nearest guy here is 37 miles away, so I am truly in the middle of nowhere. But it's kind of refreshing, because a, a lot of the places that I've been so far have either been like cities or towns or quite busy. So these guys, uh, a little bit earlier, said, oh, do you want to come to a waterfall with us? We're going to go swimming, going to go explore, whatever. Um, and then actually they just left without telling me. So I was kind of left alone in the hostel, which was not that fun. Um, so now I'm going out to just get a little bit of food, a little snack, and then I think I'm going to rent myself a motorbike and just go explore on my own. Sometimes some quality alone time is good. Um, right now I'm a little pissed off with people. I don't know, if it was me, personally, I wouldn't just, you know, leave without telling me, but everyone's different, I guess. So I'm here on Pai's Walking Street, which is famous for, like, street food and... Um, like walking down and seeing markets and stuff like that but it's actually only about half past four so a lot of them aren't open yet because it's like a nighttime thing um, but I'm just gonna pick up some food I was looking for a falafel place because I've heard there is one that is really good and fun fact I haven't actually eaten meat for the last week because I met this girl and we both said we'd give it a try so I'm giving it a try but I'm not saying I'm vegetarian because I did that before and then I started me eating meat again and I felt awful so I'm just going with it. So I just had some bruschetta, some pizza, and some chips, which is incredibly unhealthy, but still vegetarian. And I feel like a lot less hangry now. So I'm ready to go and carry on with my day. Considerably less grumpy. So guys, I am now back at my hostel after a nice day out exploring Pi. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. I will see you again soon. Goodbye.